Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be the last time that you see me in this setting because we are moving back into our newly renovated house today. And I can't lie, I am a shell of a woman. <laughs> I got what was that? Shell of a I am a shell of a human being right now. Be right back, I need moisturizer. I have not been here for a week. Ryan has barely been here this week either. So on top of moving, we also have one of those situations where you haven't actually been in your house. So all of the like chores have stacked up. There's so much washing because we've not been here to wash our clothes. They've just been with us and like, Oh, I have like three loads of washing to do on top of actually trying to move house this weekend. I honestly, I'm feeling a little bit like I am drowning. We're just looking past all of it because I'm actually so excited. Oh my God, it's, it's the Vaseline time of year, you guys. It's so cold. My lips are so dry. Anyway, I am actually really excited to be moving back into our new Renault house or like our old Renault house but it's new and it's kind of funny because people have been saying to me for like a month now like are you so excited for it to be done and I was just so over it like it obviously took double the amount of time that it was meant to take which I feel like is just so classic for renovations and it's my own fault because I've been really picky with tiles and carpet and blah 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 I am just so looking forward to it even though like I have so much to do today. I actually just can't wait to be in that house. It's also really aligning with the time of year where I could put the Christmas tree up. So I'm basically just going to move in and put the Christmas tree up like as soon as possible. But anyway, I'm gonna get on with this and get packing. I actually haven't even unpacked my suitcase from when I was in London this week because there's no point. It needs to all come with me to the house. So I'm basically just we keep it packed and pack some more suitcases and pack some boxes and this month has been a blur it's actually felt like the longest month of my life because i've done so much stuff like i can't believe that bali and the lancome trip and the london trip has all just been in the same month crazy time so i'm looking forward to a chill christmas this year you guys brows there is nothing that hypes me up for the day more than a good brow tiny bit of filling in literally that just go over the top and it's like a mini facelift anastasia beverly hills brow gel tiny bit of lip liner literally the tiniest amount but it makes such a big difference tiny bit of this hourglass lipstick nice and glossy adds a little bit of pigment and kind of plumps at the same time so we're going to start with the clothing and bags and then we are going to move on to the kitchen basically start with the fun stuff move on to the boring stuff okay starting with bags it's so heavy not me having more clothes We are getting there. Shelves are empty. Oh my God, I'm so sad. It's such a bittersweet feeling because I love this house. It has been such a safe space for me. It's like aesthetically a type of house that I have always loved since I was really, really small. I just love it so much, but I'm equally just so excited to be in the new house. And honestly, just like when I was there, I think it was in the last vlog. I just, I love the new bathroom so much. It's just so stunning. I just love the vibe of it. It feels very soft and very calming. So I'm just super excited to be there. Very excited to be leaving the leather sofa of bachelor pad dreams behind. <laughs> I'm ready to be back in the house that is full of girl energy. But yeah, all of the essentials and kind of my decorative bits that need to go back to my house are packed. I packed up essential foods and like kitchen bits as well. Oh, it's so bright. I packed up essential kitchen bits as well. Ryan sounded like he was taking the essentials, but actually I think he just took the coffee machine coffee so he can basically make himself an espresso he didn't even take coconut milk real boy logic you know anyway let's go hello everybody i actually had to fully leave you on moving day because i got to the house and it was disgusting it's still disgusting i feel like i'm just living in a dust pit 
and it, obviously every time you dust and then you hoover it just lays again and there's more dust and i think i'm gonna be dusting and hoovering every day for the rest of my life so yeah that was that was our weekend I was just trying to clean and like ryan gave the sofa a deep clean because we didn't cover anything in this room because we thought that we would have things over the doors and it was all okay it was all okay until the electricians came in and i don't know what happened because i wasn't here but someone left like our bedroom and our living room doors wide open and then the electricians came in and like chiseled out the walls and then there was just a thick layer of like yellow dust over everything which when you have a white sofa is especially heartbreaking like it wasn't in the best shape before we knew we had to give it a clean at some point it was due a clean but it was disgusting ryan is my hero he's gone over it twice he's now at his house going over everything in his house with the cleaner it's like a special carpet cleaner sofa machine it's wonderful it's been a lifesaver i will now never ever sit on this sofa in my tan ever again not for me oh ryan's home great ryan is bringing the christmas decorations because your girl needs a little bit of joy in amongst the dust there are literally boxes everywhere the bedroom is a mess the kitchen still has stuff everywhere it's it's a lot so i need a little bit of joy so we're going to put the christmas tree up this is actually the only day i can do it unless we're well into december and i really like to have my tree up at the start of december we've also got guests coming and i just think it will be so nice to have the christmas tree up when they're here either that or the <laughs> we change the doorbell all the time so that Nala doesn't pick up on it, but it just scares the crap out of me. We've got the turkey gobble at the moment. Please hold, my mum's here. 2,000 years later. Good morning, everybody. Well, wow. that moving vlog did not go particularly well. It was very stressful moving in here. Like this, it was not a normal moving vlog. I have just found the moving in and out of like temporary houses and renovation houses very very different to a general moving situation where i i feel like i get to check in with you more i don't know why but anyway it's actually three days later and i have literally been cleaning my dust fest i say i me and ryan both have been cleaning this dust fest of a house for basically two days solid and it's just been a lot and there's just been a lot going on and a lot of non-house stuff going on and i may have had a little cry last night and to make myself happy i put my christmas tree up i did it without you and yes there's color on my christmas tree what has happened things are not the same around here anymore look at that it's actually very cute i don't mind the pops of red i actually would like to get some little red stockings for under the hole in the wall that we're going to call a fireplace we still need the star to go on the top but i have to glue some of the stones back in so it's still chilling here i also don't know if this it's hard i don't stuff doesn't go with these decorations the way it used to like these are my normal <laughs> decorations and the star goes really well with them my mum literally said to ryan yesterday when she popped over she was like how long is she gonna last with color on the tree like is she just gonna like switch it when you're out one day will she change it and change it back before you get home but like change it for the videos and i was cracking up because i was like yeah i'm already itching like i'm sad i love my little like polar bear he's so great got him from a garden center by the way so i can't link him but he makes me so happy and i just don't know if he's gonna go with the red and then i've got my little my weird little birds <laughs> i just love them <laughs> and i've got the giant penguin that goes on the tree and i just love them all so much and i'm a bit like i just don't really go because ryan's theme was more like gold and red apart from the giant disco ball which was actually my choice so we'll see we'll see how long i last it's already i'm not sure i'm not sure maybe i'll get a second tree and the one in the kitchen can be my tree anyway so it's not been the best few days it's been a bit of like wedding related stress which i just can't i can't really talk about without like really spoiling things and yeah moving in here there's been a lot of like snagging my snagging list has been long and just there's so many bits to like finish off it was literally so like it it was dirtier than it looked and it already looked bad and like yeah it's just it's all fine but it, that coupled with the fact that i was attempting to do vlogmas I, sorry guys i can't i actually can't 
<laughs> I can't. Maybe I'll change my mind at some point, but I don't think I can do it. I can't do it. I can't do it all. So yeah, had a little cry. Feeling better today. And today hopefully will be a really nice day. I am going to London. I'm going to Reese a dress at half penny. I want to take my mum with me. And then I'm also trying on something that is brand new, unreleased yet. They're literally shooting it, I think, for the website and stuff to launch. They literally are finishing the shoot today and then bringing it to the showroom. And then I'm going to try it on. So I'm really excited about that. My battery is flashing. Hold on. This is the thing. None of the batteries are charged either. I'm just, I'm not, I'm unprepared in every way. I'm actually just gonna go sit upstairs because I like it up there. The light is nice and it's comfy and cozy. I'm getting my stair runner put in at the weekend so that it won't be this noisy, which I'm really excited about. Oh, I love this spot, it's so nice. So anyway, I'm taking my mom to London and I'm super excited. I just, I'm really looking forward to spending the day with her. She loves all of the wedding dress try-ons. It's like, she's so cute. I don't know if I've showed you guys before, but she's just in the background of so many of the photos and she's just like, and it's just the most adorable thing. And I feel like it's really changed our relationship, like in the in the best way, like the whole wedding, but also like the wedding dress shopping. Like the last time we went wedding dress shopping, she was just, we were driving back and she was just saying how happy she was to be involved. And she didn't think that I would necessarily like want to bring, like some people don't want to bring their mums to, try and wedding dresses with them and she was just so happy to like be there seeing me try on wedding dresses and she just loved it so much and I was literally like driving and crying but it's just so cute I feel like it's really just changed our relationship in a really nice way like it just feels I don't know it just feels so snuggly and nice I have always been a very independent child like my mum and dad now that they're older, I feel like they're sad about this, but when they were younger, they needed an independent child, but they made me very, very independent from a very, very young age. And as I've got older, I think they're a bit like, oh, she could do with being a bit less independent. And so we're not like a warm, snuggly family, but since I've like been planning the wedding, it feel like it's really changed our, all of our relationships and it feels like a really warm, snuggly family and it's really nice and kind of weird because I'm not a warm, snuggly child, <laughs> if that makes sense. If you're an independent child, I feel, I feel like this will make sense, but if you're not, you're gonna be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've always kind of felt like people that spoke to their parents and family every day and like were super, super close. I was like, this is a bit weird. I get it now, I get it. It's been really nice to spend more quality time with them and it's just nice to have that like snuggly feeling as weird as it sometimes is and I'm like oh okay oh this is yeah okay we're being nice to each other okay mm. but yeah I love it it's really nice and I am just looking for I'm so looking forward to bringing my mum along last week was the first wedding dress try on that she wasn't with me for and I genuinely missed her so much like I just missed her being there I felt really sad that she wasn't like seeing the dresses in real life like I haven't showed her the ones that she's going to see me in today I haven't showed you guys either but she hasn't even seen them in photos because I really really want her to see them in real life and like it just I just felt like something like it was amazing having Vic and Amelia there for the half penny one and that definitely helped soften the fact my mum wasn't there but like the Pronovius one I was actually I was just so sad that like she wasn't with me and yeah so i'm really happy that she is able to come with me today i am still really heartbroken that my nan can't be around to come along to these things because i know she would have and i would have loved for her to have been able to be at my wedding and and so it's just made me even more like i want my mum to be everything everything like it could be i'm trying on a glove and i just want her to be there i just want her to be there i feel like the whole whole thing yeah i feel like i'm gonna cry so i'm gonna actually just there uh, i'm gonna go and get ready now that was very i feel like i gave you whiplash there but i actually need to um yeah i need to go before i cry so yeah we need to pick an outfit for today basically i've really messed up and i've left all of my shoes at ryan's house we're gonna try and find some shoes here that i like and want to wear and try and salvage an outfit because i haven't unpacked any of my clothes yet I have none of my regular shoes and I realized too late last night and yeah we've had builders back in this morning we have doors on yeah oh yeah we have doors so yeah they've started on the snagging list so I couldn't go out this morning and now I just need to like get ready let's see what we can salvage shall we this is how things are looking it's honestly 
chaos in here. Okay, what have we got? It's definitely not those. Could go Fendi boots. I'm not sure. What is this? What is all of this? Okay, so, summer dresses. Definitely not that. Okay, these could work. Maybe these with like a flare jean. It's these or Converse. I think that's <laughs> that's all I have. What do we think? Um, just kind of feel like I want to look nice. Maybe the boot. I also need to find some shoes to wear under the dresses. Where are my Dior sling bags? Because they would be perfect. Are they in the boxes? Ah, so organized of me. Okay, we're wearing these to my bridal try on because my white ones are still at Ryan's. Everything is still. I really haven't even finished moving. I genuinely haven't even moved in half my stuff. I don't know why I'm chatting to you like we're done moving. It basically just got to the point where I got the essentials in and then decided that it didn't make sense to move more things into the house when so much cleaning needed to happen first. So I'm gonna go back and get some stuff tonight, but yeah, these will do until then. I actually love these as a bridal shoe. These in white would actually make a really gorgeous bridal shoe, but these are just so special. I love the detailing on them. I've just realized upon hoovering upstairs, ready for our guest, that the builder that did the snagging has walked literal poop onto my brand new carpet. So I think I've had enough today and for today and I would love to go back to bed now. Odd, I really hope that balance is okay. I still don't have a mirror in a room that isn't actual chaos. I really should move the one from the bedroom to the wardrobe. No, wait, the wardrobe room is chaos. I don't have a mirror in a room that's not chaos, basically. But this is the outfit that I've managed to salvage. I'll move the camera down in a second because I feel like you can't see. But I'm wearing my Topshop boots. These are so old, but so comfy, given the fact that they're so freaking high. Look at them. I actually just compared them to my Jimmy shoes that are very similar but suede. And they're higher and a thinner heel. So, yeah, I'm gonna move you down. This is outfit. So I've got an Ina Bing leather trousers on and then an Abercrombie knitted, like, sleeveless top. Top shop heels, like I said. By the way, if you see the stickers on the bottom of these, no, you didn't. I don't know if anyone remembers when Topshop had physical stores and they started making these stickers that just never came off. I've never managed to get the stickers off the bottom of these. So if you think you saw a sticker, no, you didn't. Anyway, I think this is gonna have to be my jacket. Oh, my mom's at the door. Please hold, call her, I'll be with you shortly. Oh, okay. I'm just upstairs, I have to run down. <laughs> I fished this out of storage, but I couldn't be bothered to delve any deeper, so this is as far as I got, and it's chic and it's nice. So, Burberry trench. I feel like it works. I'm just rolling with it. I don't have time to fish any deeper, so that's it. And then my YSL tote, but I'm probably gonna wear it the other way around because I feel like the Burberry trench and the big YSL is maybe a bit too much. What do we think? And I've done zero to my hair because I do not have time, so we're just rocking up like this. It's giving rustic bride, you know? We're on our way to Half Penny. Mum's steaming ahead, but she doesn't understand that we are 10 minutes early and being early gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm literally like, we're 10 minutes early. What do we do? Where do we stand? This is why Ryan always says to me, he's like, why are you always late? I get anxiety about being early, okay? I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. You excited to see some dresses? Yes, I am. <laughs> she looks very cute today. I told her to wear all black. <laughs> we have arrived. I'm so excited. I mean, look, you guys. Look at the bows. It just makes me so happy. Oh, you guys. You think this party season might do me in, I have to say. Very busy. If I look like I've been attacked by an animal on my forehead and stung to bits, it's because I had my Botox topped up. So that is why I look a little bit bee stung on my forehead. Just in case anyone is wondering, because it can either look like I've had a reaction, I've been bitten by something, or I just have a mass breakout i have botox and i'm very happy about that because i did i was making some facial expressions out loud which i did not mean to be making i'm getting ready because we have a house of cb party to go to i'm just gonna pull together a very quick light glam oh that hurts a little bit okay i'm wearing a bow today 
Do I look cute or do I look like a five year old? Can someone tell me? Because lots of people complimenting me, but I couldn't tell if it was in like a, oh, so cute, but not cute kind of way, or is it actually, is it actually a good look? So I'm gonna show you what I have to wear tonight. House of CB kindly gifted me some outfits. Wow, I don't know if this is working out for me. As a lot of you will know, I am such a big House of CB fan girl. I love their dresses and their clothes. Like I just, I think when they first launched, people kind of didn't take House of CB very seriously, but the quality, when I started ordering, I was like, wow, the quality of these clothes is actually so, so good. And it is at a slightly higher price point. And I feel like that is really reflected in the quality. I always love their dresses. I think especially for my figure, they make dresses so beautifully. Like I always feel so supported. Even if I'm bloaty, like when I went to the Armani event, I felt so gross and bloaty. But even when I'm bloated, I just always feel good in House of CB dresses because they've got a bit more support and structure than like a high street dress. This is not an ad, but just if you didn't know, I love them so much. I have to say this is a risky decision I am making because I haven't even seen the dresses yet. So let's let's hope that this works out for me. That's such a pretty eye look. I can't believe they don't make these anymore. I'm so heartbroken about it. I have a horrible feeling this one is starting to dry up. I'm literally so sad about it. It's been one of my favourite mascaras that I've used in a really, 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 really long time. See that volume? Now we are going to do my current favourite lip combo. So I put Max Stone on my lips this morning. So there's a little bit of a, a contour to my lip. Like that's what Mac Stone is better for, is more of a contour than a lip line unless you use it really lightly and you have a very fair lip like me. So I'm lining my lips and kind of going over the outer edges with Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And then we are gonna take the Armani Lip Power Matte in the shade 111 all over the lip. I am obsessed. It's the best, 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 best nude. They showed it, they showed this to us in the summer. I knew, I knew there and then that that was gonna be a real favorite. Finally got my hands on it and then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Collagen in Pillow Talk. So just toning the light down a little bit, but it's very warm in here. It's the nicest, nicest lip combo. So I am obsessed with this at the moment. Oh, actually I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. Again, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this because the light is annoyingly blowing me out. I need to figure out a good lighting setup for the winter months because it gets me every single year. Okay, we need to unbox the House of CB dresses and see what we're working with. I also, I just brought loads of my post in. The office is no longer called the office it's called the post room it is full so i thought whilst i was unboxing my house of cd stuff we could also unbox some other things which i need to unbox anyway because i want my house to smell nice i've made a beauty pie order firstly thank you amelia for your black friday discount code very happy about that because the limited edition mint chocolate hot, what is it hot chocolate and peppermint candles they are back baby they are back and these are the best candles on planet earth i am so passionate about these i literally just finished burning up my one from last year literally down to the bottom so i've got two of these a mouth-watering hot chocolate top with a fresh peppermint middle and a bed of butter cocoa and vanilla mm. i have some bits from zara home and zara as well which i thought i would just crack open as well whilst we are here firstly i picked up a bag this was actually ages ago did I send it to the right address? No, you cannot go wrong with a gold bag. It's a really cool gold clutch. It's got film on it at the moment, but I love that. It's got a strap, but I'd probably wear it more as a clutch. So cool. These come in and out of stock all the time, so if I can, I will link it. I also made a Zara home order. So we have a few different bits in here. Straight off the bat, you know that I have picked up the salted caramel diffusers. These are life. I actually didn't think they were bringing these back this year. I couldn't find them on the Zara home website, but then I went on Zara and they were there. So I've got a smaller size, the bigger bottles as well. I do have a, a few smaller jars already around the house, but because we've now got the upstairs, I did want to get some more 
jars so that we can spread this scent all around the house. Big, big tip if you want people to love the smell of your home and comment on it every time they walk in, put it in your porch or your like entryway. Just a tiny little jar, like diffuser jar. It goes a long way and even if you can't smell it, everyone else can smell it and it's stunning. I also got the car air freshener. I don't know why they don't do this in saucy caramel because i think they would make an extortionate amount of money off of me if they did it but i got the gingerbread one because my car doesn't have an air freshener and i want to be festive this year because i'm so buzzing because you guys i got my i got all my christmas wishes not only did my sister-in-law and well my sister-in-law to be and brother-in-law to be have christmas off this year which doesn't always happen not only are victoria and alex free for new year again to spend it with me. My sibling and his girlfriend are coming down for Christmas and I didn't think they were going to be. So I get a full sibling family Christmas and I get to like host New Year and I'm so excited. Like I got all of my Christmas wishes in one, I'm real. Anyway, the final diffuser that I got is Majestic Oud. I fancied switching it up. I fancied just seeing what this one was like. I think this is promising. And I thought this would be either really lovely for my dressing room or for our kind of utility stairway area. So I'm excited to try this one. So that is my Zara order. Let's get into the Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury House of CB packages. Not me <laughs> filming in the one corner of my room that doesn't have any boxes in it, but this dress is stunning. I think it would look really sweet with these your heels these were the best mr village find on the planet everyone keeps saying i should wear these as my wedding shoe i've taken them to a few bridal try-ons and everyone's like they need to be a wedding shoe maybe they will be i think they're even better than the white lace ones that you do as a wedding shoe so anyway this dress is unreal i actually haven't managed to do it up properly at the back i need ryan to come in and help but if i'm not gonna wear this dress i'm definitely not gonna like waste his time but it's gorgeous it's so heavy like the petticoat on this is unreal it gives the most beautiful shape if i don't wear this tonight i actually have a black tie thing next week or the week after so i could wear this to that and i think it would be so nice okay this may need some skims under it just for like extra support but i'm obsessed it's the most gorgeous like nude sequin dress so so stunning. I actually have a rat and boa dress that is very, very similar to this, but it's in like a slip dress style and it's very much more sheer than this and lighter in colour. And I still need to get it altered because I just never got around to it and it's a mile too long for my legs. Whereas this is giving what I wanted done to the rat and boa dress. It's very supportive as well. Like the girls are really girling in this and I am not mad about it. Okay. This dress is a little more feminine in its design than I would normally go for. However, because it's in black, I feel like I can get away with that a little bit. So it's got like a sheer puffy sleeve and frills on the sleeves, but it's still really gorgeous. Love the back. I actually quite like it with the bow as well. I've just thrown these shoes on with it because I don't know where any of my black shoes are and it's quite elongating on the leg, but this is, this is nice. I feel very like secure and cinched in in this. This could be the one, you know, for the evening. Okay, this one is lovely. I think it's another contender for the black tie situation next week. I think if I wore a pair of platform heels, this would be absolutely fine, but it's really beautiful. I just think it might be better off for the black tie thing and then i'll wear either this or the sparkly one tonight and honestly i'm thinking this just so i can i have to get the train so i can throw a big coat on over the top of it and not feel like i'm being stared at because no one will know i'm wearing something adorable underneath the sparkly one actually lends itself well to going under a coat as well but maybe maybe the black one yeah let's go with that it's a nice safe one and i don't feel like i'm too bloated in this one but also skims to the rescue okay we are ready to rumble my girls and my bedroom is also ready to rumble oh my god will i ever make less of a mess when i'm getting ready no probably not anyway i'll see you in a bit you guys i am feeling like an actual so let me take this off i finally got my glasses fixed i'm very happy about it I don't sound very happy about it. Honestly, it's been a real week this week. This week has been a hard week. Just juggling the move, sorting everything. Like my 
I'm just gonna show you what my bedroom looks like for reference because I've been vlogging the bits of the house that look okay, but I'm unwell. Like this, yeah. So moving personally, the wedding stuff, work-wise, been one of my busiest working weeks of the entire year. If our guests staying a week, we have another set of guests coming tonight. So just constantly trying to keep the house clean, doing extra loads of washing because you need to change the bedding between people. And on top of that, Amelia lost Duke this week. I hope that she's not watching this and this is just like, isn't a horrendous reminder because I hate, I hate when that happens. It's just been such a, it's just been a week and it's just a lot. And I literally had to pull my car, my car over this morning to like cry at 10 a.m. Cause it's just, it's just, there's just so much going on. So that is why this week's vlog just, it, it's very sporadic. I haven't checked in with you to like show you what I'm doing very much. There's lots of like chatty check-ins, but not so much to show. Between personal stuff and work and just trying to be there for everyone. It's just, it's just been a lot and I actually can't. It's just been such a sad week. So I try and like keep the vlogs happy, but that is kind of where we are at at the moment. I'm going to sign this vlog off because it's probably really long by now. That is it from me. I love you, bye.